Shore Sports Zone's coverage of the St. John Vianney Lancers is brought to you by Paver Restoration. In Montvale, North Jersey Power and number one ranked St. Joseph Regional hosting undefeated St. John Vianney in the non-public Group 3 semifinals. St. Joe's out to an early 7-0 lead. SJV looking to answer back. Chris Chuck Waneke gets to the edge. We have seen so many great runs from Chris Chuck in his senior season. That's good for 37 yards. And St. John Vianney's knocking on the door to tie the game up early. But Chuck Waneke drilled at the line of scrimmage. The ball comes loose. St. Joe's recovers. And just one play later, we see the explosiveness of this team. Look at those lightning quick cuts by Jordan Scott. See you later. 80 yards for Jordan Scott. And just like that, it's 14-0 St. Joe Montvale. So much size and speed on the defensive line for St. Joe's. Howard Cross drags down Chris Chuck Waneke. Tough for St. John Vianney to get anything going in the first quarter. And here's St. Joe's back to work. Nick Patty connects with Nick Cantone. That is beautiful. 78 yards at the end of one. St. John Vianney trails 21-0. And everything was going St. Joseph's way. This kind of summed up the afternoon for the Lancers. Azik Daniels looking for Pedro Braga. It's off his hands and into the hands of the defender, Jack Agnew. A turnover there, second one of the game. After a field goal by St. Joe's, it's gonna be Patty going to the air again. And Cantone gathers again. Wide open, 74 yards, see you later. 31-0 in the second quarter. Give credit to St. John Vianney. They kept battling. Matt DiGennaro in a QB finds Zaire Sterling. And one more great highlight from number two. Sterling with a 73-yard touchdown. 31-6 with 2.22 to go in the second quarter. But the big plays kept coming from St. Joseph. Lewis Exeus virtually untouched. He took advantage of that opening and the result, a 46-yard touchdown that made it 38-6 and the Green Knights might have saved the best for last. We're still in the first half and Nick Patty, get ready to see a serious highlight. Yasir Berry. Oh man, that was awesome. 36 yards at the half. St. Joe Montvale with a 45-6 advantage. They call out the dogs in the second half, and the season comes to an end for St. John Vianney. The Lancers fall to St. Joseph Montvale, 45 to 20 is your final. It's the Lancers' first loss of 2016. St. Joe's now moves on to play DePaul in the non-public Group 3 final. What a season for St. John Vianney. You take a look at this senior class, so many great players. Micah Clark and Jamal Beatty on their way to Rutgers. Chris Chukwuneke on his way to Villanova. This team, over the last two years, has gone 21-2. and two. That is awfully, awfully impressive. And they have a very strong junior class that will no doubt be determined to keep the winning ways going at St. John Vianney. Thanks so much to Paver Restoration for sponsoring our Lancers coverage. We'll continue to cover St. John Vianney as girls basketball, boys basketball, and hockey get ramped up in a couple of weeks. St. Joseph's out of Montvale gets a 45-20 win, ending the season for St. John Vianney. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.